All right, for the six, yeah, no, six part of this series of you know, my welcome battlefield series, we'll be going over air vehicles. Now, air vehicles are probably my favorite thing to be doing. I'm probably the worst at it too, even though I want to be a pilot and whatnot. But yeah, air vehicles can turn the tide of battle in a moment's notice, given that they are exceptionally powerful and, well, having probably the highest skill cap can do so much, and yet. <laughs> So little if you don't know how to use them right. So again, we'll start off with the stealth jet. Stealth jets, their primary purpose is to take out other aircraft. Now you can make them in a manner where they are kind of anti-ground. It's still it's actually a build that's similar to you know, kind of the mobile AA where it's like you know you do that. But again, that so you start off with a 20 millimeter cannon, very high speed, you know, not a lot, not as much damage, but will tear through aircraft like that. Again, start with Heat Seekers, kind of similar to Mobile A. Again, you know, you build your way through until you get active radar. Now, this is the one I would say you, IR flares are the way to go all the way. ECM jammers, well, I think they last a bit longer, and I guess it does kind of become a bit of preference. Um, I guess one thing you can do is, you know, kind of, kind of mess around. I'd say learn. Um, fire extinguishers. Not really. I would say fire extinguishers, the one vehicle where they would be acceptable is jets. Because jets, will, and also kind of helicopters, if you catch fire, there's you can't just jump out and repair like you can with most vehicles as an engineer. So if you really like that and you feel that, I would say sure. The one thing is I'd say if you, if you have IR flares like an ECM jammer, it means you're probably going to be getting hit by, you won't get hit by the, by that critical rocket. So again, your best way to prevent, you know, protect yourself against gain hit is just don't get hit um an upgrade you start with gyro stabilizers which i say are good i mean there have been plenty of cases it's like if i had this i wouldn't have crashed my plane but at the same time belt feeder is the way to go proximity scan i've been i've never had good l luck with it and st again stealth coding you know if they're locking onto you they're gonna get a lock anyway it can be useful depending on kind of the way you play like if you like to do gun runs that can be useful just if you if you know how to time it just right. But again, that's kind of a more I want to say high skill, but you know, you really have to know what you're doing to do it. So again, so it's a primary build is um, you know for it adds to the anti-air build, which again I would say you know try to get active radar, especially on jets. Active radar are really nice because passive radar you want to hold it, you want to try to hold a lot, because especially if you're jousting, as soon as they drive you know fly by you, those missiles are. You know, one they put probably put it would have been gone. But again, if you're, you're doing that kind of stuff, you're maneuvering. You aren't going to be able to hold a lock. Heat seekers, like actually, I don't say heat seekers are better than passive radar on a jet. Just before that reason. Now, granted, if you really know what you're doing, like you can use it for kind of helicopter. You get slower targets like helicopters and whatnot. That can be useful. If you, you know, if you don't have laser guides yet, or just you know, don't can't get laser designations, you in theory could use them as rockets. But active radar works all the same. So again, once you have that, do that. When it comes to cannons, use whatever you uh, whatever you feel comfortable with. I mean, 20 millimeters are great starting weapons just because they spew a lot of bullets. They will do a lot of damage, but you know, it's that kind of the 25 is kind of in the middle. You know, you know it will damage like 20. I will say can't really damage vehicles. At least I haven't really had much luck. Granted, it's kind of hard to strafe. The 25 is coming in between that and the 30. The 30 again, it's a slow cannon, but it when it hits, it hits hard. So, again, really kind of depends on kind of your preference, what you feel comfortable with. Um, kind of measures, again, I would just say IR flares or ECM, depending on what you do. Fire extinguisher, maybe. Belt feeder is very, very useful, especially if you are going to be dogfighting, because it reduces uh, missile reloads, which your active radar missiles are so, so good, and you're going to want to reload them as fast as possible, because a good trick is, you know, fire as you could there are two strategies for missiles you can fire one missile you get them to pop flares and then fire the next or you launch both of them then like just pretty much taking passes on them because again if you fire both of them if they pop flares you know, they both miss but then when you come around if you can come around quick enough and really quick enough you can hit them again with both missiles and again it will hit them and kill them or at least do a lot of damage and quickly hit them also again you combine that with you know your cannon so it's a surefire way to take things out. 
You can also kind of do a more ground attack approach, which again, I would involve laser guided, and I heavily recommend the 30 mils just because they do more damage against, you know, they have a little more explosive capacity, that type of stuff. Again, countermeasures, I'd say still say IR and, you know, um, belt feeder. I mean, if you really, with those, I actually could use gyro and proxy if you're flying pretty low. The same with like stealth coin ace, that, you know, it all depends on what you like. I haven't really played. <laughs> Play the stealth jet as a ground attack because it's not very good. Like the attack jet actually makes a better dogfighter than the stealth jet makes a ground yeah, attack jet. Of course, then again, the attack jet has the potential to be the best dogfighter in the game and it's in the hands of a skilled pilot because of their cannon. So without further ado, let's get on to the attack jet. I'll skip it. So again, you the only gun you have is the Thermometer Gao 8 cannon. And that is, for those who don't know, the you know the big Burt from an A10. This thing is demolishes anything in its path. It has high rate of fire, but also high amount of damage. And if you uh, get one of these on your tail and they have a good shot, you'll be dead within seconds. So yeah, you start with laser guided rockets, which got are very nice early on, just because you you can kind of get hits. It's a good way to early on so to level up. Again, the attack jet was actually my last plane to fully level up just because one I didn't fly this whole lot it wasn't as good like the stealth jet you actually can level up kind of easily a great example would be you know, play Dawnbreaker because that it, rather than having an attack jet and a stealth jet it has two stealth jets and they generally can't do a whole lot besides a dogfight I mean really the the biggest purpose is just kind of counteracting commanders which that's a great way to get points is shooting down gunships and shooting down drones and then the occasional pilot that you know, dares fly by other cases, you know, again, you can always shoot down helicopters and whatnot. And you actually, you know, that's a good thing to do is just kind of take gun gun passes on attack helicopters and scout helicopters because they generally you want a huge menace to them because you'll you know, you might do you know a couple couple points of damage, but then you'll fly around. And by the time you get back around, they've healed up, and you aren't as big of a problem to them as you know they are to you. Like I've actually been, if if they really don't like you, you will, they will make you sure of it because there are very few lanes you can really fly in for doing in the city flying low, and you'll get TV missiles. You'll get, uh, like they all have your guns, the guns on you. They also use a, uh, the uh, driver can use uh, heat seekers because those I believe are the starting for that. So again, it's primarily ground based. So again, kind of. It kind of depends on you use what you like. If you want to go air again, just use, use heat seekers again. IR flares are the way to go. ECM again, if you like it, or fire extinguisher. Belt feeder is fantastic, especially given the gun, because it will reduce the overheat a lot. Proximity scan can be nice, just because you, because if you're looking for more ground-based targets, you'll get that a little bit better. But again, I usually try to do gun runs based on you know, kind of what I can see and what I you know. Because also, like, by the time proximity scan becomes effective, you're already pretty much flying over your target, so it's a little bit harder. But yeah, so the big point I would say is, you know, the kind of secondaries are with the attack jets where you really can kind of get your differentiation. You know, laser guided, you know, you lock on, you shoot, hopefully you hit. Hydro rockets can, I really like hydro rockets just because, you know, you can kind of bracket targets, you don't have to worry about, you know, people, you know, popping flares, that's, you, there's no escape. TV missiles, I personally don't use them, but again, you can, and actually I should, I might actually attach a, when I post this, you know, a link to my friend's video where he just played Lansing Dam and it was in a, both a uh, boat, attack helicopter, and attack jet, just messing around with TV missiles, just destroying everything. JDAMs are interesting to say the least. I tried them out and I just could not get a hit. So JDAMs, despite the name, they're not actually guided. They're just big dumb bombs you drop through a of weird bomb sites kind of interesting but again so if you get a direct hit with this i do know that you will immediately kill a tank if you land you like 10 feet to the right you get nothing it's weird maybe i'm just really really bad and i think i'm doing better but again you'll see some people especially very very skilled attack jet pilots running jdams if you weren't good at that i wouldn't practice i would just you know stick with hydras and do use your gun the gun again it's it's incredibly powerful and you, you can uh do it where it's like if you line yourself up right you can do a lot of damage to a vehicle if you combine that again with hydro rockets um so yeah that's really all for the attack jet 
and so now we'll go into helicopters. So the first helicopter is a scout helicopter. So you start out with you know with mini guns, and you actually don't get a secondary until later. Um, again, standard IR flares. Um, you actually get fire extinguisher second. Um, so again, start with a gyro stabilizer. Can be nice, uh, especially scout jets, which are flying a little bit lower. But again, yeah. So on to kind of build. So there's like the anti-air kind of dogfighting one, which. Some would say use miniguns, some would say use the cannons. I don't really mind. I usually I build mine in ground attack, so which I would say you definitely want to use the cannons. So some you really can mix and match anything depending on how you want to do it. So like the miniguns are very, very good for taking out infantry, which I'm guessing like a great example of a scout helicopter map that I play a lot is you know Zabo 311. And that the miniguns are really, really useful because you can spray people off the roof. And then you can just use the um, laser guided to take out armor and whatnot because the cannons on this they they take a little while to hit so it's like you know to really load up on someone to deal the damage and it's well it can be good like i like them just because you don't have to meet like hit the target you can kind of get nearby and deal damage also you can kind of fire into the lower areas that's why i like it. so again that's based off of preference where you just want to spray bullets or you actually want to do more cannon based rounds again with the secondaries you know, it's, do you want to well never take no Either take, you know, do you want to be more anti-air, fight other scout helicopters, or laser guided. Again, I would say with the countermeasures, again, IR flares are always the way to go. I would say especially with this, IR flares can be really, really nice just because you need to get drop stuff in an instant because you're going to be kind of flying closer. When it comes to this stuff, again, kind of how do you want it? If you're playing Dogfighter, that would be really the only time I would say air radar, but again, you don't really need air radar because um, you aren't going to generally be using this to fight jets. Generally, the scout helicopter, the heat seekers you use to fight other, um, other helicopters, whether it be transport, attack, or uh, generally other scout helicopters. Okay, actually, if we look at the unlock track to um, scout helicopter, yeah, so you get heat seekers pretty early on. So again, useful for you know, kind of good, you know, getting extra XP. Then you'll get your cannons, and then finally you get laser guided. So, okay, laser guided. I really, really like them just because you can, you know, they're great for hitting targets. And also, again, you, when you work with laser designators, very, very useful. Again, actually, now look at the attack jet track, you know. Heat seekers are great early on because, you know, where there is one, you know, where there's an attack jet, there are two other jets on the enemy team and potentially usually helicopters. So, again, a good target rich environment, that type of stuff, you know, be your hydro rockets, that type of stuff. attack helicopter, which we'll talk in later. There are a lot of different things you can do. Why not? Um, stealth jet, again, you start out, you get passive radars, you can have just keep heat seekers, you know. Whether you're can, you like it or not. Laser guide, yes, you can try your hand at it. Again, active radar is last, and those are the best. But again, jets, I'd say, they're, they're built pretty well early on. I mean, the only glaring flaw would be yes, the active radars are the last thing you get, and they are very, very powerful, generally, because you you don't get much warning to them and again you know, they it's fire and forget so it's you know they can launch them from any angle like you i've literally gotten kills by someone flying by me and i just shot them both off they tag on and immediately tear into the dude's back and they're gone so again that's just <laughs> that's how that stuff work so and finally the attack helicopter the uh pretty much the gunship of the sky so Interesting with the attack helicopter is the pilot is the less lethal one, usually. The gunner has actually, they have a lot of power given they have the 30mm chain gun and uh, they have secondary, so again. Well, you start out with none, you get you can get laser guide missiles later on and then TV missiles, which are too powerful. <laughs> yeah, but starting at the top, so you start with hydro rockets, which are you know, smaller, you know, launch a lot of them. Then you can move on to zoonies, which are... Heavier dome is main, then you have smart rockets, which will, again, automatically guide onto their target if you get nearby. I generally, like, I use smart ro rockets for a little while. I generally don't like them just because they aren't very powerful. And if you're going to be taking out armor, I would generally leave it to the gunner. The rockets I kind of like to use for just kind of blowing stuff up and just kind of bracketing an area. So it's more of like an anti-infantry role. So that's why I like Zuni is just the heavy, you know, the heavy power. Again, you'll start off with heat seekers. You'll learn to get a tow missile. Now, tow missiles. Uh, I've had 
I mean, you have to aim it. So remember, tow missiles don't like rockets. You, you, they follow where you point. And well, you can have them laser designated. Again, I wouldn't rely on it. So I also like heat seekers just because. Also, attack helicopters, they like to fight each other. Because attack helicopters, they do a lot of damage. So uh, good strategies when fighting attack helicopters is you position yourself and you actually kind of take a rear lean position, kind of move back and ain't can you get your heat seeker lock but also let your gunner get targeting on them and if you're like if they're a good friend of you you get into a zoom call you know zoom call discord chat whatever you need and let them line up a tv missile if they have it because again that will be your insta kill uh, again very powerful again uh you know ir flares fire extinguisher ecm again i would just use ir flares you know fire extinguishers again you if you really need it but you generally don't. It's again just don't get hit. You just use those to get out. I use stealth coating just because again to reduce. There isn't like you know you don't have anything that helps with the reloads. And also again you just to reduce the lock on chance. I mean air radar again you don't really need because I generally don't go jet hunting with these. There are people that will use the heat seekers to jet hunt, but it's not that useful and also like, if you have a jet that's really coming at you again you just assume the position as i like to call it and then just let your gunner either light them up with their gun or tv missile them uh when it comes to gunner though again gunners again use whatever you can you once as soon as you get laser guide you use them tv missiles heavenly god tier again uh you try to go for thermals especially uh, I would probably say use these as soon as you get, get as much of a thermal you can as soon as possible. Because I will say the zoom almost hurts at times just because you just look and you I mean, you can see your shells. Like you, you see where they're landing. You see the head markers. Like you don't you don't need to zoom. Like you, if you're operating at long range as a gunner, don't use the gun. Use the missiles that you have at hand if you have them. And again, I use belt feeder just because I like to use TV missiles and just I like to light people up. Proxy scan. When you have thermals, you don't really need a proximity scan. Um... It's, uh, in theory, it could be useful to prevent people from hitting you with an RPG, but again, that's on the pilot at that point. Like, there have been times where I've tried to communicate with a friend, like, hey, do it on the roof with an RPG, and by the time he gets the message, we've already been blown up. So, not as useful, especially given you'll be able to see your targets pretty well through your thermal sights. So, that would really be all with it. I mean, uh, I guess I can do a bit of a demonstration with... Uh, the A10 work on so. So that the cannon on it is super, super powerful. Hey, I did it again. Yeah, so fun fact with jets, if you pull the button, you will eject from them. You know, if you hold E, you'll eject from them. Very, very useful. Again, I was trying to kind of blow myself up. Another cool thing to show you is, and especially this is a good given for the Americans, is stealth jet. Well, it's generally a qu quick thing. The F-35 has a very special ability. So if you slow it down, on a coming for landing type thing. Because you can land jets. Again. Crap, crap, crap. Now holding it can be a bit of a challenge. What the heck? We're flying as if we're in Greek Beetle. There have been cases, and this is also kind of why I like to run 30 mils, is because you can use them like a... That did nothing. The radar say you go bye-bye. I, I took... <laughs> I took health damage there.
Huh. Anyway, drop from there. Hello, kind sir. Oh, wait, crap. I'm so far. Well, that'll be all with it. Comes to it comes to those aircraft. And there's also transport helicopters and you know, transport stuff. Like that. Another side note: so if you want to level up, kind of similar to the boat, if you want to level up the, uh, the scout helicopter quickly, and you aren't a very good pilot and you don't have stuff going on, be an engineer and just sit in the side with the repair torch. I mean, scout helicopters they generally get lit up quite a bit. Even if it's just like small damage from someone with an L LMG. So I'll, I'll do that. But if I'm a gunner and there's like no infantry around, I'll just shoot an aircraft. Because you know sometimes you. Maybe like they're retreating in their low health, and you just happen to you know, deal a critical hit, and you know, kill them or cause them to crash, type thing. Or sometimes you know, you'll get their attention; they'll come towards you, kind of in spite, and then you can have your <laughs> either you or your gunner just light them up. I've, uh, I've actually done that a few times in Battlefield Five, where I've like shot at planes. It's like you know, the little mach top machine gunner, and they'll just get pissed off, and they're like, "Oh, look a target," and then tiger gun go boom. So again, thank you for watching. My next video will be, again, kind of small little tips and tricks and fun little things to do with your friends. Again, thank you for watching.